Why being single is your secret superpower. Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're going to talk about something that might just blow your mind. Being single isn't just okay, it's fantastic. Party popper. I know, I know, it sounds wild, right? Especially when you're scrolling through Instagram, seeing all your friends coupled up, going on cute dates, and posting those annoyingly perfect selfies. But hold up. Before you start feeling like a third wheel or thinking there's something wrong with you, let me drop some truth bombs. Being single isn't a disease you must cure or a problem you must fix. It's like a secret superpower that can seriously level up your life. Don't believe me? Flying solo can be the best thing ever. First, let's address the elephant in the room, societal pressure. It feels like everywhere you look, there's this message that you need to be in a relationship. Movies, TV shows, your grandma asking if you've met anyone special yet. It's enough to make anyone feel like they're missing out. But here's the tea, that's all just noise. Society's obsession with coupledom is like fast fashion, trendy but not always good for you. For example, you wouldn't wear something because an influencer told you to, and you shouldn't jump into a relationship because society says it's the in thing. Your life, your rules. Now, let's talk about the real MVP of being single, personal growth. When you're not spending every waking moment texting your bae or planning dates, you've got this incredible opportunity to focus on numero uno, you. It's like having a VIP pass to the self-improvement festival. Trust me, it's lit. Think about it. All that time and energy you'd spend trying to figure out where to eat, because apparently, that's the hardest decision for couples, can be used to discover new passions and always wanted to learn how to code. Do it. Fancy trying out that new art class? Go for it. Being single allows you to explore without worrying about fitting your interests around someone else's schedule. And let's remember emotional growth. Being single lets you get to know yourself, your wants, needs, fears, and dreams. It's like being your best friend, therapist, and life coach all rolled into one. You learn to validate, comfort, and, most importantly, genuinely like yourself. That's not just growth, that's glow up material, family, sparkles. Speaking of glow ups, let's chat about self care. When you're single, you can prioritize self care without feeling guilty. Want to spend all Sunday doing a skincare routine with more steps than a K pop dance? You do you. Person in steamy room female sign feel like binge watching your favorite anime series for the third time? No one's going to judge you. TV. Being single means your schedule is 100% yours. No need to compromise on your me time or feel bad about not being available 24-7. You can recharge your batteries exactly how you want when you want. And in this wild, always on world, that kind of freedom is priceless. Battery gem. I know what some of you might think, but won't I be lonely? That is a fair question. But here's where another superpower comes in, the ability to build epic friendships. When you're not wrapped up in a romantic relationship, you have more time and emotional energy to invest in your squad. You can be there for impromptu movie nights, help your best friend through a crisis at 2 a.m., or plan that crazy road trip you've all been talking about. These bonds become incredibly deep and fulfilling. Plus, being single lets you expand your social circle more easily. You're not just stuck hanging out with other couples or your partner's friends. Every new hobby, class, or event is a chance to meet awesome new people who share your interests. Before you know it, you've got a friend group that is more diverse than the cast of a Netflix original. Let's switch gears and talk about something practical. Mon EY. Yeah, you heard that right. Being single can be great for your wallet. Think about it. No expensive dinner dates every week, no pressure to buy fancy gifts, no splurging on a couple's spa days. Instead, you can use that cash to invest in things that truly matter to you. Maybe it's saving for that dream trip to Japan, buying a top-notch camera to start your photography journey, or even starting a side hustle that could turn into your future empire. When you're single, financial decisions are yours, which can set you up for significant success. Let's get a bit deep for a second. One of the most powerful benefits of being single is the opportunity for self-discovery. 
High school and college are like this crazy roller coaster where you're trying to figure out who you are, what you believe in, and what you want from life. Having this, me time, during these formative years is gold. Without the influence of a romantic partner, you can explore your identity on your terms. Maybe you'll realize you're passionate about climate change globe or want to break free from certain family expectations. You might discover your sexual orientation or gender identity white flag rainbow or uncover talents you never knew you had. This journey of self-discovery sets the foundation for a life that's authentically, unapologetically you. Being single also teaches you one of life's most important lessons, being comfortable with solitude. In a world that's always buzzing, learning to enjoy your own company is like having a superpower. You become confident in your skin, happy in quiet moments, and you don't rely on others for your sense of peace or happiness. This skill is a game changer. It means you won't rush into relationships out of fear or loneliness. When you decide to date someone, it'll be because they genuinely add value to your already awesome life, not because you need them to feel complete. That's the foundation for healthy, balanced relationships in the future. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Being single isn't a waiting period before your life really starts. It's not a status that needs fixing. Being single is an incredible opportunity, a time to grow, explore, learn, save, and become the best version of yourself. You're not missing out by being single. You'd be missing out if you didn't use this time to its fullest. Every day you spend focusing on your growth is an investment in your future, a future where you're confident, accomplished, and crystal clear about who you are and what you want. When you decide to be in a relationship, it'll be on your terms, with someone who respects the fantastic person you've become. And if you choose that, being single is your long-term vibe. You'll be living proof that a fulfilling, joyful life doesn't need to follow anyone else's script. But wait, there's more. You didn't think I'd run out of reasons that quickly, did you? No, we're just getting started. So, grab your favorite snack, get comfy, and let's keep this single power party going. Party Popper Popcorn. Let's tackle something that crossed your mind. FOMO. Fear of missing out. You get that icky feeling when you see your coupled up friends doing cute couple things and think, am I missing out on some grand romantic adventure? Here's the plot twist they might be the ones with FOMO. While they're busy coordinating date outfits or meeting the in-laws, you live your best single life. You're the one going to that underground indie concert on a whim, booking a last-minute trip with your best friend, or staying up all night for an online gaming tournament. Who's missing out? Being single gives you this incredible freedom to say, yes, to opportunities without having to run it by someone else first. Your life becomes this series of spontaneous adventures, each shaping you into a more interesting, well-rounded person. So next time FOMO creeps in, remember, your single life isn't lacking excitement, it's overflowing with it. Speaking of excitement, let's chat about something super important but often overlooked, setting and crushing personal goals. When you're single, you have this unique opportunity to dream big and chase those dreams with zero distractions. Maybe your goal is to get super fit and run a marathon runner mail sign, or perhaps you want to launch a YouTube channel. Hey, like this one. Winking face. Or it could be something academic, like taking your SATs or getting into your dream college. Whatever it is, being single means all your time, energy, and focus can go into that goal. You don't have to balance your ambitions with date nights or worry that your hard work might make your partner feel neglected. Your only commitment is to yourself and your dreams. Many successful people credit their single years as when they hustled and laid the groundwork for their achievements. So, who knows? Your single era is your origin story as a future CEO, Olympic athlete, or YouTube star. Now, let's dive into something more fundamental, mental health. High school and college can be harsh on your mental well-being. Academic pressure, social drama, family expectations, it's a lot. Is it adding relationship stress on top? That can be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Being single gives you space to focus on your mental health without the added complexities of a romantic relationship. You don't have to deal with jealousy, anxiety about whether they like you, or an emotional roller coaster when you fight. Instead, you can use that emotional energy for self-care. 
You can journal to understand your feelings, meditate to find inner peace, or see a therapist without scheduling around someone else's needs. You learn to be your support system, which is incredibly empowering. And honestly? In a world where mental health issues are on the rise, especially among teens, this focus on emotional well-being isn't just nice, it's necessary. Alright, it's time for a fun one. Dating. Throwing kisses I know, I know, this whole video is about being single. But here's the twist. Being single makes you better at dating when you decide to try it. It's like having cheat codes for the dating game. When you're comfortable being single, you date differently. You're not desperate to be in a relationship, which means you have high standards. You've spent time figuring out what you like, value, and won't tolerate. So when you do go on dates, you're not just saying yes to anyone who shows interest. Also, what about all that self-discovery we talked about? It makes you a dating ninja. You know who you are, so you're authentic on dates. You've built confidence so you can indeed be yourself. And because you're not trying to rush into a relationship, you can enjoy the process, meeting new people, having interesting conversations, and maybe trying cuisines you've never had before. Plus, if a date doesn't work out? No biggie. You've got your awesome single life to return to. This lack of pressure often makes you more relaxed and attractive to others. So, being content with being single can lead to better dating experiences when you're ready. Let's zoom out briefly and look at the bigger picture, your place in the world. Being single in your teens and early 20s isn't just about personal growth, it's also a chance to figure out how you want to contribute to society. Heavy stuff, I know, but stick with me. Without a relationship's time constraints, you can dive into issues you care about. Climate change got you fired up? You can join environmental groups, organize school initiatives, or even start your eco-friendly project. Passionate about social justice? You can volunteer, participate in protests, or use social media to raise awareness. Being single often means you have more geographic freedom, too. You can attend that national youth leadership conference or do a summer internship in another city without the sadness of leaving a partner behind. These experiences expose you to diverse perspectives and help you understand complex global issues. In short, being single gives you the bandwidth to think beyond yourself. You can explore how your skills and passions align with the world's needs. This isn't just good for your personal growth but for humanity. Today's single teen could be tomorrow's world-changing innovator. As we get closer to wrapping up, I want to touch on something deeply personal, spirituality and self-reflection. Now, I'm not pushing any particular belief system here. Being single offers a unique opportunity for inner exploration, whether you're religious or spiritual but not religious, agnostic, or atheist. Without the distractions of romantic drama, you have more quiet moments to ponder life's big questions. What do you believe in? What gives your life meaning? Is there something larger than yourself? These aren't just philosophical musings. They shape your values, guide your decisions, and influence your life's direction. Some people use this single time for deep prayer or meditation, others for long walks in nature, and some through art or music. The method doesn't matter. What's important is that you're doing the work to understand your place in the universe. This spiritual or philosophical clarity will be your compass, helping you gracefully navigate life's ups and downs. As we approach the end of our chat, let's look to the future, because that's where your single era's ultimate benefits will shine. Right now, being single might sometimes feel like you're in a waiting room, anticipating the real adventure to start. But flip that script. You're not in a waiting room, you're in a launching pad. Every skill you gain, self-discovery you make, and moment of growth is rocket fuel. You won't start from zero when you embark on future relationships, career moves, or life changes. You'll be beginning miles ahead, equipped with self-knowledge, emotional intelligence, and a rock-solid sense of self. If you do choose to be in a relationship later, it'll likely be healthier and more fulfilling. Why? You'll already be complete because you won't be looking for someone to complete you. You'll seek a partner who complements your whole, vibrant self. Or you'll realize that the single life is your long-term jam. More and more people are choosing lifelong singlehood, seeing it not as a lack but as a valid, fulfilling life path. 
Either way, the choice will be yours, based on your desires, not societal pressure. In your career, you'll have a head start. While others are just beginning to find their passions, you'll have years of focused personal projects. Those side hustles, volunteer work, or deep dive studies? They could evolve into your dream job or groundbreaking innovation. In terms of overall life satisfaction? In the future, you will be thanking current you. All this time spent on personal growth means you'll deeply understand what makes you happy. Not what Instagram or TikTok says should make you happy, but what genuinely lights you up inside. That kind of self-awareness is the foundation for a life that's not just successful but deeply satisfying. So, as we land this epic discussion, here's what I want you to take away. Being single isn't a phase to get through, or a problem to fix. It's a unique, invaluable period that, if used wisely, sets the stage for an extraordinary life. You're not just passing the time until your real life begins. This is your real life, right here, right now. Every day is a chance to grow, discover, and impact the world. Whether journaling your feelings, nailing a personal best at the gym, or just enjoying a peaceful moment alone, you're not waiting for life, you're actively crafting it. Your single status isn't a label that defines you, it's a canvas that empowers you. On this blank slate, you get to paint the masterpiece of your life, choosing every color, every brushstroke. What you create during this time will be the backdrop for every following chapter. So, to every single person watching, own it. Your relationship status isn't a limitation, it's your launch pad. It's not a pause, it's power up time. Being single isn't your weakness, it's your superpower, cheat code, and secret weapon. Use this time boldly. Learn voraciously. Love yourself fiercely. In doing so, you're preparing for a great future and living a great present. And who knows? Years from now, when you're crushing it, someone might ask, what's your secret? You can just smile and say, well, it all started when I embraced being single. That's a wrap on this mega discussion, guys. If you've stuck around this long, you're as passionate about this topic as I am. Don't forget to obliterate that like button, smash subscribe, and share this video with any single friends who might need this empowering pep talk. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Whether you celebrate single life or have questions about navigating it, this community has your back. Remember, there's no one size fits all in life. Single dating is complicated. All paths can lead to happiness if you walk them authentically. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive. Stay true to yourself, keep rocking that single life, and I'll see you in the next video.